What's up guys, this is Andrew from Tom Goodspedia and welcome to another episode of Enhanced Common Cuisine with a Q. So for today, I'm going to be making use of whatever is left in our pantry and this is Argentina corned beef. You can use uh, Pure Foods if you have it, Thailand's or whatever corned beef you have lying around. So for today, we're going to be making tortang talong croquettes using eggplant and some corned beef and you can mix and match whatever protein you have. You have spam, you can put spam, uh, what else, what else, canned goods is there basically any canned goods you want to put in this croquette you can add whatever you want it may take some time just rolling all the balls together but i think it's all worth it in the end so let's get started to start off let's grill our eggplant poke tiny holes in the eggplant so that they don't pop while we grill them grill this until the skin is nice and charred this will give the eggplant that nice grilled flavor while that's grilling let's open up our corned beef and fry it in oil you may think oh it's gonna be crispy later no um no we're doing this so that we draw out most of the moisture out of the corned beef so that it'll be easier to mold later. Now while the eggplant is grilling and the corned beef is frying, let's boil our potatoes. You can cut them into smaller pieces so that they cook faster. Just boil them until they're nice and tender. Once the eggplant is done grilling, place inside a bowl or a plate and cover with plastic so that it'll steam. This will make it easier to peel off the skin. Let it cool a bit so that you don't burn yourself. Peel the eggplants and make sure that there are no worms inside. If there are, just remove that part and the rest is still usable. The corned beef is nice and crispy. Drain the oil completely and set aside. Once the potatoes are cooked, add the potatoes to the eggplant and corned beef inside the bowl and mix. Add your milk and add salt to taste. Make sure to mash the potatoes well. This mixture may still be warm and may be difficult to mold with our hands. Pop it inside the freezer until the mixture cools down, or you can use a water bath. Once the mixture is cool, we can now start forming our croquettes. Prepare a bowl of flour, beaten eggs, and Japanese breadcrumbs. This will be easier to form with wet hands. Form the ball using your palms and fingers, and then dip it inside the flour, shaking any excess, and dip it in the egg. And then lastly, the breadcrumbs. Once you're done, let the croquettes firm up a bit inside in the freezer before frying. Once they are nice and firm, fry this with about an inch of oil and medium heat. Turn them once they turn golden brown on the other side. Once they are done, transfer into a drip bowl and let the excess oil drip. And your croquettes are done. So here you have it guys, this is our eggplant tortang talong croquette with corned beef. It's very simple and easy. Again, you can use whatever canned goods you have that are lying around. Just don't use something weird like uh, sardines and eggplant. I've, you know what, maybe I should, no, no, I'm not gonna try that. So let's give it a try. So I made a, a super simple dip with just sriracha and ketchup. So let's try it out. I'm not gonna double dip, don't worry. Mmm nice and crispy what hits you first is that smoky eggplant that we grilled on top of the stove and the flavor of the corned beef just comes through after i think this is a good way of using simple ingredients and making it fancy ish anyways guys i hope you like this recipe if you have any recipes that you'd like me to cook next time make sure to comment down below make sure to like and subscribe to tom goods media if you would like to donate to our fellow countrymen i'll be posting links down below where you can donate let's help each other out and yeah till next time guys peace and be safe